Racism is always at play. Uh, uh, people of color can never escape the shadow of the plantation. But we are moving quickly, not away from that, but we are joining this question of black and white with green. This is about greed. This is about the fact that there used to be about 1.4, 1.5 million people that lived in Detroit and just in Detroit. And what was popular here was Dodge Main, Chevrolet Gear and Axle, Huber Avenue Foundry, Lynch Road Assembly, Rouge Plant, the great Rouge Plant, where the great late General Baker worked for many, many years. And these factories built something called a middle class across the country. Just where I live in Detroit alone, 400,000 manu 400, manufacturing jobs have disappeared. No one can take that kind of a hit. And where did they go? They went the way of technology. That's the technology that used to uh, enhance labor now replaces labor. So R2D2 robots now work at these quote unquote factories. These dinosaurs are gone. And so those good paying jobs left with them. And of course, you have people of color. Let's go get them first. Of course, you have blue collar workers. Let's go get them first. But this is more egregious. A woman and a child living on welfare in Michigan gets $420 a month in cash assistance. That tabulates to $5,040 in a year. This no good trifling backstabbing Kevin Orr, the, the emergency manager, is getting $1,000 an hour. This man makes $8,000 in one day and a family of two, $5,040 in a year. It's outrageous. And then to come after folks that have lost work, that have lost jobs, that are sticking and staying in Detroit to try to help to rebuild and repopulate my city, and then to say what we're going to do is turn your water off because you can't pay for it. We're gonna not going to tolerate this. Mess. We're going to have to leave it. We're going to have to leave it there, but we will certainly continue to cover this crucial issue.